It's not fast, because I have to do all this diving. there. I don't even know. I don't want to get rid of it. Yeah, well, I'll get rid of it. Whatever. Stables always have a nearby shrine like they did in Breath of the Wild. Typhlos Ruins has a shrine again. Hey, a Linky popping by to make an appearance? I don't see any visible injuries, so you must be holding up okay out there. Have you made any progress on investigating the four regions like, I've, like I asked? There's another village that might yield more answers, so I'm directing an investigation of what's going on there. Kakariko Village, home of the Sheikah tribe. It's off to the southeast in the Nakluda region. Zonai ruins, each shaped like a ring, fell directly on top of the village. There's got to be a special reason for it. Right now, the Zonai survey team's elites are taking on the investigation. If you want to know about the Zonai, you should talk to them. If you want more info, mm -hmm. talk to Atmos down in the shelter. He can probably point you in the right direction. He helps deploy the monster control crew squads to where they're, they're needed and has extensive geographical knowledge. He can tell you more than I can about various regions and peoples. Anyway, I can get the help from the research division for this. But I'm entrusting the investigation of the four regions with the phenomenon to you. Check. Keep me posted. Show the Joshua the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well and looks darn cool too. Hey. Oh, good. I was worried that it would automatically choose the photo I took at the beginning, but for some reason it automatically chose the the most recent one. This is it. This does match what's on the fragment. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them who keep searching. This is... A big, big, big discovery! 
Now what's next? The possibilities there are so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of the, my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, hope so hopefully you find them useful. <laughs> that fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles! Swordsman! <laughs> Thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. Why doesn't she call anyone by their names? Yeah, I, I miss, I, uh, I think I missed and remembered how the horse whistling worked. I thought, it's actually, you know, like, realistic, like, it has to be nearby. I thought it was just like, if it can't get up, like, a mountain, it won't come, or something. <laughs> Need to buy some more slots.
I st uh, so the stone axe is a fusion, but I don't like. I've never seen the 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 stone pieces that are axe-like to make one myself. complicated now. It's not just taking the one square. that there for now. Show dag. 
shrine. Do these? When I use them in shrines, it seems like they don't take up the battery. Well, the battery meter is not anywhere to be seen, at least.
Really? Those aren't vulnerable thorns. Mysterious leaf that looks like it might be hiding something behind it. It has some medicinal value. Attach it to a stick and it can be used as a fan. 